Hi, my name is Yanmin. We are from National Taiwan University. Today, I would like to share our research on optimal preamble design for show packet circularly part shaped CPS of the transmissions. In this talk, I will first introduce 5G short packet scenarios and the preamble design requirements. From the viewpoint of physical layer communications, we intend to explore the optimal preamble of CPS of the waveform, which features low out of sub-band emission, low OSBE, and low peak to average power ratio, low PAPR. In the second part, the CPS of the transceiver system and the performance matrix integrated cellular level ISL, OSB energy, and PAPR with respect to the preamble design are described. In the third part, we will present the proposed CPS of the preamble optimization design, including the mathematical problem formulation and the algorithmic framework. Then, in the fourth part, Simulation results show the advantages of the proposed method. Finally, we summarize the conclusions of this work. In 5G new radio, short packet transmissions take place in MTC and URLC to prevent high signal overhead and power consumption. More specifically, non-orthogonal grain-free one-shot access may be allowed in 5G applications such as IoT, V2X, and unlicensed spectrum usage. In such cases with a complicated synchronization, the preamble at the start of each packet is very important to the estimation of timing offset TO, carrier frequency offset CFO, and channel impulse response CIR. Here, we simply consider that TO is the number of discrete samples relative to the ideal FFT window boundary, CFO is a fractional value normalized to subcarrier spacing, and CIR is time invariant within a packet duration. From the aspect of 5G physical layer given fixed transmit energy, the preamble signal should possess periodically low autocorrelation while meeting the two waveform requirements of low OSBE and low PAPR for spectral compactness and high power amplified efficiency, respectively. Notice that the preamble characterized by low autocorrelation can provide accurate user identification and robustness against synchronization and channel estimation errors. In recent years, Preamble design for 5G OVDM based systems has attracted great attention. In the current literature, we can find the preamble development for the following waveforms OVDM, DFDS, OVDM, UF, OVDM, FBNG, and GFDN. Most of them desire near zero periodic autocorrelation and constant amplitude properties on the basis of Z of two sequences. However, the preamble of CPS OVDM has not been studied yet. CPS OVDN is one of the most promising waveforms for 5G and beyond, with the advantages of low OSB, low PPR, and DFT-based subband precoder flexibility. This is quite suited for short packet transmissions, since unlike window OVDN and filter OVDN, it can prevent block extension and be free from the use of guard interval. Smooth block-wise transition may alleviate the inter-block interference at the receiver, Interested audiences may refer to our previous papers shown at the bottom of this slide. Considering that the preamble signal is generated by a predetermined CPS of the modulation, there are some design challenges. First, the degrees of freedom are the input pilot symbols to be fed into the subbandwise CPS precoder. The amount of design variables is actually limited. Second, Directly applying Z of two sequence, pseudo random sequence, and low PAPR sequence defined in the 3GPB specification cannot make the preamble low autocorrection and low PPR. The third concern is that given fixed preamble energy, the out of subband emission energy, or SBEE, has to be restricted to preserve the merit of CPS of the waveform. The last concern is to guarantee the estimation performances of TO, CFO, and channel. Thus, the data symbols in a packet can be reliably detected. We briefly point out the contributions of this work. The main point is that we propose a preamble optimization design based on CPS or video modulation for subbandwise short packet transmissions. The ISL is minimized, while the OSBEE and the PAPR are kept as low as possible given fixed transmit energy. 
To this end, a quantic minimization problem is formulated by taking the complex value pilot symbols before the CPS precoder as variables. Then the problem is solved by the proposed majorization minimization convex iteration algorithm with the help of semi-definite realization. Compared to the preambles produced by ZC, PN, LP sequences, our proposal can achieve lower ISL, OSBEE, PAPR, and also better packet data detection reliability. Let's move on to the system model and the formulation of performance metrics related to the preamble design. Here we show the block diagram of a single user CPS of the basement transceiver system subject to TO and CFO and the illustration of packet transmissions in time frequency resources. At the transmitter, the preamble is denoted by a column vector X, which is linearly generated from the pilot sequence vector W, CPS precoding metric P, and IFT operation. The pilot vector W is a variable to be designed in this work. We use the phi metric to represent the CPS of the modulation. The transmitted preamble signal is X of N, which passes through a multi-pass channel H then serves from TO and CFO denoted by tau and epsilon respectively. At the receiver with AWGN, the received signal is denoted by Y tilde. Correlating it with the preamble X, the TO can be estimated and then compensated. Suppose there are two repetitive preambles, the CFO can be easily estimated. After CFO compensation and zero to payroll, the time domain received vector is Y. Let capital X be the low triangular topolized matrix, with first column being the non preamble vector X. By pseudo inverse, we can estimate the CIR vector H and then adapt it to yield the MMSE frequency domain equalization matrix Q for the subsequent data symbol recovery. Next, we will provide three mathematical formulations for ISL, OSBE, and PAPR. First of all, the periodic autocorrelation of the preamble signal is defined as equation 1. It can be equivalently expressed as the quadratic form as shown in equation 2. To measure the goodness of the autocorrelation property, the ISL is given by equation 3. To obtain the OSBE, we need to know the energy spectral density of the preamble transmission in advance. Then the OSBE can be expressed as the quadratic form shown in equation 5. Recall that the preamble vector x is equal to the metric vector product of the CPS of the modulation matrix phi and the pilot vector w. The PAPR can be derived as equation 6, which is to find the maximum power among the n preamble samples. By the way, we use rho to denote the fixed preamble energy. Now we are ready to introduce our proposal about CPS of the preamble optimization design. The goal is to develop the complex value pilot sequence W such that the ISL of the resorting CPS over the preamble can be minimized. At the same time, the OSB and the PAPR of the preamble transmission are restricted to reasonably small values. Specifically, the proposed optimal pilot sequence design problem is formulated here. In equations 7b and 7c, beta u min and alpha lambda min indicate the maximum allowable OSBEE and PAPR in the system, respectively. To deal with the problem, we introduce a lifting matrix denoted by a capital W to transform the objective ISL function into equation 8A. This can be regarded as the metric quadratic form, in which the Hermitian positive semi-definite matrix omega leads to the function being convex. The constraints of OSBEE, PAPR, and fixed energy can be equivalently described by the lifting matrix W as well. Hence, the problem is reformulated here. Only the rank 1 constraint in 8F is non-convex to be relaxed. 
to solve the problem, we exploit the majorization, minimization, and M algorithm. The key idea is to convert the problem into a series of semi-definite programming problems with convergence guarantee. The first majorization stage is to construct the surrogate objective function as equation 9. The second minimization stage is to iteratively solve the SDP realization problems. We have the SDP realization problem formulation here for each iteration step. The rank 1 constraint has been removed and the optimal rank 1 solution WOPT can be attained when the algorithm converges. Therefore, we can obtain the optimal CPS of the preamble produced by the optimal pilot sequence. Notice that the minimal PABR lambda mean in equation 10C has not been decided yet. We will adopt the convex iteration CI algorithm to find it and the corresponding rank 1 point to be the initial point of problem 10. In the CI algorithm, the PAPR minimization problem in epigraph form with multiple iterations is presented here. Lambda is a variable signifying the PAPR to reach. The capital Y is a lifting matrix variable. This slide summarizes the proposed MMCI-based optimization procedure for optimal pilot sequence design of CPS of DN. Let's take a look at the performance evaluation results when the proposed optimal preamble is adopted in the CPS of the system with our guard interval usage. Practical simulation parameters are chosen mostly by referring to the 3GPB technical reports. There are three estimation performance criteria to be addressed. First, in order to see the autocorrelation silo performance, the correlation level is defined in equation 14. Second, we choose the mean absolute error MAE given by equation 15 to evaluate TO and CFO estimation performances. For subband channel estimation performance, it is assessed by the normalized mean square error NMSE as written in equation 16. Here we display the preamble transmission performances of adapting different pilot sequences. Observing these figures, we can find that directly applying the ZC PNLP sequences to make CPS of the preambles cannot preserve the expected properties of low OSBE, low PAPR, and low ISL. Our CPS of the preamble proposal is in practice capable of suppressing the OSBE, the PAPR, and the ISL together. Here, we exhibit the CPS of the receiver performances of using different pilot sequences. Please especially focus on the red curve and the green curve for our proposals in these four figures. They have the lowest B error rates, mainly due to their excellent TO estimation. Okay, let's summarize this work. In this paper, a CPS of the preamble optimization method is proposed for subbandwise short packet transmissions. Our design simultaneously meets the four preamble signal requirements of low ISL, low OSBE, low PAPR, and fixed energy. Simulation results demonstrate the superiority of the proposed preamble over the preambles produced by the ZCPNLP sequences in terms of ISL, OSBE, PABR, timing offset estimation, and the detection reliability. In the future, we have two plans to improve the preamble. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.